when there's only two of you at a thing, it's kind of, it's much, much more intense. In rehearsals, you don't get those, those scenes when you're not rehearsing. We're rehearsing all the time. <laughs> well, we're in week four of rehearsals now. I'm not going really, really well. What was good about and difficult about the play is that you, you kind of sift for clues. Um, and there are some, but ultimately, a, a big part of, of this has been imaginative and letting that kind of run wild within within what you're given. The, the rapport that we build between each other obviously lends itself to what, what the dynamic of, of Carol's writing is. And it's been great because she's been in rehearsals some days and, and we've been able to, um, well, I mean, we ask her questions, but she's so free and, and sort yeah. of un, unprecious about the work. Absolutely that she's, wonderful. Yeah, she just completely encourages the imaginative approach that we've been having. Yeah, it's quite technically difficult mm. to learn because there's a lot of there's a lot of broken dialogue and overlapping and half lines. So we try to do a kind of family uh, story, a backstory, a backstory that went back actually, in in my case, to 1889. <laughs> Not that my character is really, really old. It's just uh, you know the birth, uh, the birth of my grandfather and grandmother. Colin, of course, has got a more difficult task because he's got three people to do. 